It's eight o'clock. Good morning. I'm calling this Tuesday, October 15th, 8 a.m. Judicial and Public Safety Committee meeting to order. Can I get a roll call, please? Chair Evans. Here. Member Chaplin. Member Childress. Member Desart. Member Eckhoff. Member Gustin. Member Krajewski. Member Ozog. Member Schwarzy. Member Tornatori. Member Yu. Member Zay. Okay, we have a quorum and uh, do we have any public comment? No public comment today. Okay. So good morning, everybody. Chair remarks. Um, everybody look over there and wave to the students of Mr. Wilbur. They are visiting here from Hinsdale Central High School. So uh, we'll be on our best behavior today and uh, welcome. So uh, next, we move on to approval of minutes. Can I get a motion to approve the Judicial and Public Safety Committee meeting minutes uh, from Tuesday, October 1st, 2024? Any discussion on those? Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Next, we move on to procurement requisitions. Can I get a motion to approve JPSP-31-24? Recommendation for the approval of a contract purchase order to Public Safety Direct, Inc. for upfitting and repairs of Sheriff's Office vehicles and monthly maintenance for the period of October 31st, 2024 through October 30th, 2025 for contract total amount not to exceed $522,215. Any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Next, can I get a motion to approve JPSP-32-24, recommendation for the approval of a contract to Adriana T. Anderson of the law firm of Anderson Attorneys and Advisors, LLC, to provide professional services as a child protection GAL attorney assigned to juvenile cases for the period of November 1st, 2024 through October 31st, 2025 for a contract total amount not to exceed $42,000. Um, can I, oh, let's see, there was a motion in a second, right? Oh, motion, okay. Oh, did I, okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say motion to approve. Okay. Um, and then we have the second, right? Did we get a second? Okay. Okay, uh, any discussion on that? Okay, uh, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Moving on to resolutions. Can I get a motion to approve FIR-182-24? Acceptance of an extension of time for the Illinois Court Commission on Access to Justice Grant PY24. Uh, that's for the 18th Judicial Court. Oh, you moved it. Oh, I moved it. Oh, no, no, you moved it. Okay. And then did we get a second? Okay. Okay. Um, any discussion on that? Okay. All in favor? Any opposed? Okay. The motion carries. Okay, hey, can I get a motion to approve FIR-183-24, acceptance and appropriation of the US Department of, Just US Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance PY24 DNA Capacity Enhancement for Backlog Reduction Program Grant Award. Um, this was in the, amount, in the amount of $339,842 for the Sheriff's Office. Is there any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Moving on to budget transfers. Can I get a motion to approve 24-2722? Transfer funds from medical dental lab supplies to building construction in the amount of $60,000 necessary for replacement of the shelter at the Hidden Lakes Radio Tower. Is there any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Uh, can I get a motion to approve item 24-2737? Transfer funds from subscription IT arrangements to IT equipment in the amount of $94,000 necessary for secure evidence lockers for the sheriff's office. Okay, uh, any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. So moving on to action items, can I get a motion to approve JPS CO-10-24, amendment to purchase order 6662-1 serve issued to Axon Enterprise Inc. to increase the contract encumbrance in the amount of $144,049.80 for a contract for a new contract total not to exceed $1,522,385.80. Was there any discussion on that? Uh, member you. 
Yes, thank you, Chair. My question has to do with, um, so the increase, it says in the decision memo, what did I just say? Decision <laughs> memo that a fiscal year 24, 20,578.53 is going into it. Then FY25, there's 41,000. FY26, it, in, um, it's the same amount. And then FY27, it's also the same amount. So um, can I just get more information about, is this an increase for the next, um, you know, three, four years? Um, what could, yeah, just more information. <laughs> I think the sheriff. Uh, I'll defer to Deputy Chief Billadu, who I believe is online. Good morning. So, what this increase is, is we still have eight vehicles that are using the old watch guard system cameras. And we are going, the small increase for this year, for the remainder of this year, is to get it up and running. And the reason that it was longer or more expensive is because it's through watch guard, through, I'm sorry, through Axon with evidence.com and we're just adding that to the existing contract. So we're phasing out the last of the old equipment and doing it in the end of this fiscal year so that all of our in-car cameras are on the same system. And then they'll just continue on with the original fleet contract for the next four years. Okay, thank you. And my follow-up question is, so then we will no longer have the watch guard units. Those will be completely phased out. Were they the old units that we didn't like and this new one is better? It is. And the, the, what happened was, is at the end of our watch guard, before we switched over to Axon Fleet, we needed to add watch guard cameras to our transport vans, our prisoner transport vans. So now we're getting rid of those and putting the Axon Fleet in the prisoner transport vans. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or any other discussion? Okay. All in favor? Any opposed? Okay. The motion carries. Any old business? Seeing none, hearing none. Uh, any new business? Uh, Member Desart. Thank you. I just wanted to greet your students. Hello. Thank you for coming in. This is awesome to see you. So thank you for coming. I just want to let you know that, you know, a lot of times as we go through the agenda, it might seem like we all disagree and why are they passing this so quickly without discussion on every single item. So I just want to let you know that we get a board packet that's very thick. That, that talks about each item and what it's for and how much it is. And it gives a lot more detail than is in this little agenda item. So um, that's why when we do our homework, we know all about each item. And um, if there are any questions that weren't addressed in the packet, then like remember you just asked a question that was not ad um, addressed in the packet that we can uh, talk about it here in committee. But otherwise we get a whole bunch of information more than you see on the agenda to address each item. Just want to let you know, thank you again for coming. <laughs> thank you, Member Desart. Uh, any other new business? Okay, um, can I get a motion to adjourn? Okay, all in favor. Okay, we're adjourned.